Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayman and today's video is about iPhone 6 Plus. Came from another shop, had a touch IC issue. When the, that uh, person tried to change the touch IC, the phone was working fine and the next day the phone display uh, didn't work only backlight is working so when you see a backlight with no display that could be a DFU mode so you have to connect it to computer and check if the iTunes will recognize it as a DFU mode or it will ask you to remove the password and uh, then it will be like a display issue and not uh, like DFU issue for now I connected that iPhone to iTunes and it's working I can hear the the tone of the charging uh, is there and I can see that the iTunes is asking me to trust this computer to connect to the device and I see backlight so we have a display issue what could happen to make the display uh, not working let's see we don't have a backlight issue so we would not touch the backlight drivers oh oh my god what what oh no what the f Swear I didn't see that. Swear to God I didn't see that. I, I see there is a hole. I see there is big fat hole. And it's not like a screw. It's not like long screw or something or something. Uh, so let's check the resistance to ground on the display port that will give us an idea about what's going on here what's missing what is shorted lines and then we will check that screw hole okay let's start from the left I had a feeling that this MIPI filters is uh, loose and I was correct. Here there is no resistance which should be 470 and this leg is connected to that coil and I guess that coil is loose. Huh? Yeah? Resistance came back again when I did that. Okay. Here also there is no resistance. If I push it like this. Resistance came again. So those coils are loose. And that show me how, how this technician used an excessive temperature 
while he is doing his touch I see repair. It doesn't matter if you use high temperature or no. Actually, for me, I use 400, 450 all the time. But I'm controlling this temperature by the time I'm putting the air on the board. So, if you are using a high temperature, you should not let the air flow on the board for a very long time until the components from the other side getting loose. And it's not because of the solder is melting, it's because of the uh, underfill expansion by the heat, it will deform and it kind of pushing the small little components away from its place which lead to uh, breaking in the solder beds. So in this case, what we gonna do, what we gonna do, we gonna remove the underfill first. From that area. I'm using very small, very low temperature. And I will use a uh, solder paste.
that is the easiest way without harming any other components because you cannot reach under those uh, coils by the iron so I'm giving it a solder uh, paste then I'm removing the excess of solder by the iron now let's test it ho 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 and it is officially working very easy huh but the problem is that most of the people working in this field are not educated people they are just trying their luck fixing their phone fixing customers phones the, the market here is uh, full of full of this uh, kind of uh, technicians and the customer also is not willing to give the phone to uh, a skilled technician because a skilled technician a skilled technician will ask him to pay a certain amount of money and unskilled technician will ask him to pay like way 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 more cheap than that and customers are going to cheat I don't know why I don't know why if you buy a phone worth $500 or $1000 and you have data inside your phone this data actually value more than the value of the phone and you just risking it for like 20 30 dollars cheaper some customers they don't know they don't know what is the difference for for them you are a technician and he is a technician and this one is also a technician um, I, I really don't know a solution for that I don't know a solution for that anyway it's working he will be happy that I get him out of this problem I hope you learned something from this video and I really appreciate your time and thanks you for watching if you didn't subscribe yet please press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos till the next time my work here is done and I will see you next one